They built, built from that. Here's how dominant Zahid Valencia has been this year. He's wrestled nine top ten guys this year. That is guys who ranked in the top ten at the time entering the bout. And he's 9-0, two tech fall wins, two majors. He's outscored them 110 to 38. Those are top ten guys. I love it. He's a scoring machine. Has he wrestled Jordan or Hall this season yet? I don't think he has. Like he could have. I don't think so. So I'm... Um, who I speak of though, so Mark Hall won as a freshman last year, he's been defending NCAA champ, then Bo Jordan from Ohio State. So a 174 has three guys that have really separated themselves from the crowd. Well, I know Sahib, he's wrestled Hall, he wrestled Hall at the All-Stars this year, and I believe he wrestled Bo Jordan at the Cliff Team Tournament in Vegas. So he beat, beat, he beat Jordan in Vegas, guys. I remember that now, and then in the All-Star meet, he beat, who won the, who won the All-Star meet? Zahid won the All-Star He beat Hall he in the All-Star meet, which is unofficial unofficial match, but unofficial official. Boy, Subject's given him everything he can handle. Yeah, I, I've really been impressed with Subject in this match. I mean, you see that the score is still relatively close. It's 9-6, to six and Zahid, you see how fast and explosive he is. We've seen how he can tear through his opponents. But Subject is keeping this close, and that's exactly what he wanted. He wants to keep it close. He's within winning distance in this match here. It's still within grasp for him. So interesting, they're both... Is Zahid going to double him, or is he going to take this last eight seconds off? I think he's taking it off. Unless he comes with a surprise double here. Nope. He's resting. They're both, they both took the last 12. Oh! Nice little ankle pick action. Look how long his arms are. Like crazy long arms. I love this. We're getting to the upper weights. These guys are scrambly sometimes like lightweights. Well, these two are. I don't know about the next two, but these two definitely are nimble. And uh, you know what's cool about this matchup is anybody can wrestle. You know, you don't, I think stereotypically you think guys like short and stocky, like subject, might be really good at wrestling, but... I mean, the bottom line is long guys like Zahid Valencia, David Taylor, Quinton Wright. I mean, you don't have to be short and stocky. Wrestlers come in all sorts of sizes and shapes. Any body can wrestle. And over here, my broadcast partner, you, it don't matter how many legs you got. You can find a style that works for you, whether you're short and stocky, tall and lanky, or, you know, you're missing a leg. Anthony, you figured out a, a style that you perfected, and nobody could stop you. So it's pretty cool wrestling. It's just a, a welcoming sport for anybody. And if you're joining us, you don't know what we're talking about. Google Anthony Robles, and you'll figure it out. So it's Sahib Valencia with a 10-6 lead over Keaton Subject. Minute 25 to go, and Valencia has riding time in his favor by a minute 49. So he's about to have that riding time point locked up here. So when they met in January in Tempe, Valencia won by Tech Fall 17-1. This is, this is much closer second time around. Subject makes some good adjustments, as you see right there, as he just keeping the pressure with his heavy hips. Subject, he keeps trying to go for those ducks. They're just not there, so he's got to kind of change it up here with his attacks, but he's running out of time. I saw this morning Valencia feigned cutting a guy loose, and when the guy relaxed, he jumped right on him for a cradle. They got some back points. He's sneaky like that. So he's trying for the major here. Does he have does he have riding time? Yeah. So if he gets takedown, if he finishes this, which he's probably gonna finish, he needs to come over the limp arm or step over with his right leg. He's thinking about it. Subject got a really tight wizard. There was the limp arm. That move earlier was against Miles Terry of Oregon State. Did he, he pinned him with that ridge in the semis? Got back points. Okay. So here we're looking at a major decision for Valencia. Let's see if subject can get away real quick. If he can, he could avoid a major. It's a seven-point lead right now. Riding time point will be tacked on at the end. So let's see a subject goes crazy here for two seconds. Hits a little Gramby or a hip ice real hard. He's got two seconds to get away and avoid getting majored. And so he, Valencia, hangs on. Add on that riding time point, a 15-7 win. Win by 8-14. to 14. It's a major decision. That means they tack on an extra point to ASU's already leading total. Zahid Valencia, a Pac-12 champion at 174. And in three weeks, he'll be heading on to the NCAA tourney at Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland. Number one ranked wrestler in the nation. He's a Pac-12 champion.